Okay, so I'll come straight to the point. This is an SD card that uh, I broke the lock off of. There's a little slider that goes right over here that can easily come out of any SD card, and when it comes off there, the card will show as locked in almost every device you put it in. Some of the cheaper devices uh, from China and such don't don't detect that this thing is missing, so it won't show as locked on those, but this is a purely mechanical thing that doesn't have any uh, impact on what's inside of this card. It just tells the reader that it's locked. So in any case, this was a 64 gigabit um, device that I used for a DSLR camera that I really did not want to um, throw away. So I went on the internet and figured out how you do it, and I thought I made a tutorial on how to fix it. There's more than one way. Some people just put tape over it, and that works, but sooner or later on, on some devices, the, the, the thing that pops into that little hole right there will pop through the tape, and you'll be right back in the same boat. So um, I tried to find it. This is another way to do it. You can, you can do it with tape, and it does work, but you probably will have to redo it. So, um, so here's the slot right here. And you notice it's just a little straight slot in, uh, in the case of the SD card, and that's all there is to it. You, what I did was I grabbed uh, an old card, 32 meg card. <laughs> um, so, you know, useless to me. It won't even hold one or two pictures from my camera. So, um, but I took the, I took the slider that was in it, there's that slider that's supposed to be there that's missing, and I popped it out. Um, so here's all the things that you're going to need. You're going to need your broken card, you're going to need your donor card that's going to donate its little slider, you're going to need some uh, super glue, you're going to need a twisty tie, and you're going to need some wire cutters. Bear with me, it'll all make sense in a minute. So first thing you do is you just grab a hold of this little thing and pop it off there. And here's a picture of it. This is what it looks like once it's out. This thing is about a third of the size of a grain of rice. So it, it, it is not very big. And you got to be careful when you pop it out of there that you don't drop it because you can lose it really easily. Um, I had it around on the floor for it for quite a while before I found it. So, you know, maybe if you can find somewhere where if you do drop it, you can find it readily, then that would be the place to pop this off there. Um, I took a couple more pictures of it just so you can get an idea. The, this part up here, and uh, it this faces the front of the, of the card when you're done. And this is the part that you stick down into the thing and then click it back in this, towards this direction to get it to, to go in there. Once you, uh, once you have this thing out and you get a look at it, um, you, you kind of can see how it fits back in there and it just pops back in. Um, one thing, you might try some magnification of some sort if you can get some cheap magnification for your eyes at like uh, Lowe's or something, then you'll use it for a thousand other things anyway, but um, I used it and it helped me to put this thing back in there because it's small and I'm old. Oh, there's a better picture of it in there. So, um, I popped it back in there, and this is my 64 gigabit card, and notice that thing fit back in there just fine. And so you might think, well, it's fixed, and in your case it may be, um, but in my case, this thing now slid so easily back and forth um, in the slot that when I put it into my camera or even other devices, it just pushed it down, which made it locked again. So that's why we need... Um, to put a little bit of super glue right in here into the remaining part of the slot to stop this thing from just sliding down real easily. You may or may not have to do this, this step, but if you do, this is a twisty tie and I just took those, uh, um, those little uh, wire cutters and I was careful and I just stripped it and I stripped off the twisty tie and it fits perfectly down into the uh, slot of the SD card. Um, right here it fits right into that spot so you just you just grab a little bit of uh, super glue on the tip of this thing right here just a little dab of it and presto you 
pop it in there like this and you can see the super glue here now I, I kind of I, I, it looks like I drenched it but man that's one drop <laughs> and uh, but it worked and so uh, this could no longer the uh, the slider could no longer move and uh, my problem was fixed so that there you have it that's the whole story I hope this helps somebody <laughs>